Howdy. So if you um, if you're wondering what all these are doing, you might not have seen my other video where I talked about um, when to replace your helmet as a motorcycling noob, or should I say, I've had my license and ridden for about 15 years, something like that. But <laughs> there was a decade gap there, and so um, you know, after a lot of time off the bike, I jumped back on, and you can see uh, my other helmet video uh, to see uh, sort of the, the mistake you might make in making use of an old helmet. Uh, so this is the old helmet that needs to go in the bin. This is a secondhand buy, which is like really do it if you're very desperate. Um, but what you really want to do is go and get yourself another helmet. And if that's on a budget like me, um, this is one I would recommend after a load of research. So um, to the bin or a little headbutt wall crash test for the fun of it. Um, if I really have to and whoosh, Let's have a look at my helmet. Um, so, okay, so this is the HJC C70, okay? And um, I've genuinely not even opened it up yet, um, which is probably because I can't figure out how to get in there. <laughs> it's down the bottom. Okay, so um, the, my biggest concern with any sort of, you know, getting a new helmet or motorcycling in general is safety. And, um, I, th that's the biggest thing I was looking for in a helmet under a hundred pound. I wanted to get the safest possible. And I believe with this one, that is actually what's happened. Um, so here we go. The HJC C70 and it looks more beautiful in real life, um, than, than on the pictures. Beautiful. Okay. So obviously I got it in the matte black. You'll generally get this between 100 and 150 pounds um, online or at a store. It's always good to go and try and store so you can try it on. Um, but I wanted the matte black, which made this a 100 pound buy, which is good. That's all I could really scrape together. So the first thing, my first consideration with um, buying the helmet was safety. It's, it's the number one thing I was looking for <laughs> beneath price. Um, and so this helmet obviously is ECE certified. What is it? 2205. I always remember the, uh, forget the name or the number. So it's uh, 2205. Uh, so ECE 2205 certified. That's the minimum certification. And so every helmet is going to have that. That basically means that, you know, there's, there's a minimum standard for any helmet that you can use on the road. And obviously that means um, you're safe. It doesn't mean you're as safe as can be. It means that it met a minimum standard. Um, so on top of that, what I wanted to do was find a Sharp 5 star rated helmet. Now Sharp tests helmets independently. So so you know they've, they've got no dog in the fight. Uh, what they're doing is testing for impact and um, how safe it is to use. And so when you find a four or five star Sharp rated helmet, um, whether that's in the under a hundred pound budget or, you know, in the 300 pound budget, you know what you're getting. You're getting the ultimate safety that you can. It doesn't mean that you're getting all of the comfort bells and whistles or other functionality in a helmet. And I'm not saying, and I'm no expert here. I'm just sharing what I've learned. Um, uh, I'm not saying that there aren't more benefits to higher priced helmets. There must be. Um, but a few people in, in shops have actually told me that a lot of that is about extra functionality and and comfort and things like that um aesthetics uh, but in terms of safety you can't go wrong with ece certification which is standard and then a sharp five uh rating uh five star rating and that's this so i i was really chuffed to find this um and again you can get it for around 100 bucks which is awesome in my research, the rival to this one um, was the, and I don't know how to say it, the Duchini or Duchini um, uh, D705 helmet. Um, that was a Sharp 4 rating um, and it was a bit cheaper for it. Um, in terms of like, you know, sort of the extras and stuff, it didn't really have that either, but uh, it was just on that Sharp rating. Uh, I was thought, why have four when you can have five? Um, and the thing that really did it for me was that there was um, an indication of uh, impact sites and this helmet, uh, and it's from Sharp, um, and this helmet was green and green and yellow and yellow. And the, the D705 had, I think it was green and green, but then um, on the sides it was red and red and on the scale it was just sort of like saying it's not so good. And I thought, well, why, why get why get a, a you know impact red helmet or at least orangey when I can have yellow which is on the good very good level and so hands down 
five star sharp rating i just thought wow you know that looks a bit nicer we don't want to think about crashing um but it's just i'd like to say it's not inevitable but you know there's a possibility so you know dress for the fall not the ride um yeah th that for me wins out so uh yeah five star rated green green yellow yellow i'd rather green green um maybe that's in the higher price budget let's have a look at uh, other stuff here uh we've got uh, ventilation there's a lot of that um this helmet is you know has in reviews everyone says it's really quite snug and nice um genuinely the first time i've looked at it but i've looked at some videos which are much better and i'll link to those i'm i'm no expert but yeah okay so we've got some ventilation um it's pin lock ready so pin lock is um it's a, usually a higher priced uh uh, functionality that you'll find um, it's pin lock ready it doesn't have a pin lock but you can get that um, and what that means is that there's this sort of like a little sort of shield that you put in there into your visor and it creates um, a place that you know doesn't let all the moisture happen so it stops the fog um, but you know personally I'm okay with I'm, you know I think I'll be all right we'll see how it goes uh, the visor um, it's been said it's got a really nice smooth action um, it snaps shut and it looks like that's easy to use with gloves which is fantastic um, and then the other one big thing is uh, the the sun visor here now I don't know about you but sometimes especially riding in those low low sun morning commutes you know what I mean um, it's a real pain and sometimes you're just blinded and you know looking down um, but yeah you just it's very it looks very easy to use uh, with a gloved hand um, and you've got some shielding other reviews say that you know it's it's not all the way down um so you know a bit of sunlight could splinter as well th through the bottom but i kind of it's a vast improvement and under 100 bucks so happy with that the other thing um which was said e even though we don't have the pin lock coming in the box which keeps the price down for the helmet um we've got this uh, bit here which just prevents a lot of uh, breath getting up straight onto the visor um so that's pretty cool so in terms of safety, it's highest safety rating, which is fantastic for uh, a hundred or under uh, helmet. Like that, that's to me the most important thing. Um, in terms of bells and whistles, apparently it's a really lovely um, uh, fitting helmet. Uh, you can remove the lining and wash that, which is good. Um, you know, the visor snaps shut quite easily and we've got a sun visor there. Um, and it's pin lock ready should, should that be something you want to do other things obviously uh, you want to have a look at the fastening um, this is double D which is good so that's really nice and snug and that's going to fit really well um, and yeah that that uh, and we've got the chin guard there so um, really lovely helmet I'm really quite chuffed um, just got to make sure it fits right but it, it looks like it should uh, it's, it's my correct measurement on that um, it's better to go in on you know in store if you can but obviously if you're a budget biker then you're trying to keep costs down like me um and so the temptation is to buy online but most of these places they you know will let you just do a return if it doesn't fit um but you do want to you know measure against that you know natural bump on the back of your head about an, uh, an inch above your eyebrows um, and then get yourself a measurement there um, and be realistic to it and so i i measure as uh 57.5 or 58 generally and you'll if, if anything if you're in between sizes you want to be on the snug side and then at least test that out so this is not a comprehensive review of the helmet it's just a, a your first little look at it and a bit of information that i found out um on my little journey but i'm certainly going to feel like i'm being more responsible um than wearing those other helmets um it's budget biking but uh it's got the highest rating of safety and I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to throw some links to information resources that I found really helpful, um, way more information than I've chucked here. And hopefully you'll find that helpful in getting the safest and most value for money helmet that you can. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Budget biking at its best, I hope. Uh, but I'm interested in any more info that anyone's got. All right. Ta-da.